Hi, beautiful Libras. Welcome back to Libra Light. And we are going to do our soul session right meow. So come on in, grab yourself a snack. We are going to travel down today's topic, and it is solar beauty is the name of this video. Um, astronomy right now, the stars, the constellations, eclipses, which just happened over the weekend, these are capturing your imaginations at this time. You could find that it is a unique interest. Maybe you've been interested in it in the past, but recently you've gotten more and more into it. So today we're going to talk about a little bit of it in a solar flare. We're also going to see how this is transpiring in your waking life. Okay, so the inspirations you're taking from spirituality and the things that you're learning at a rapid speed could be taking your life in a new direction. Whether you know it or not, the decisions you're making are coming from learned experience. And so we are going to go through today's topic and we're also going to get a preview of June energies. Um, I was really surprised with June. So let's start with June energies. Just a preview here. I know we're only in mid-May, but let's get a glance at what that could look like. Okay. First of all, we have Aries energy and the magician for June. This is just upon meditation. I am not saying this is the full energy of June, but it's a preview. We see you here in Aries energy. You could have Aries influence. Like I said in yesterday's video, a lot of congruent energies with Aries right now. You can also look up the sign and see what Libran traits we have in common with them. That's also a good thing to study. You're also manifesting to be your emperor, your inner emperor in June. A beautiful combination with the Aries and the Magician vibe, you could be cooking up the perfect storm. Um, I did want to name this reading Perfect Storm, but this is something that is very unique to every Libra. Not every Libra is the same. No two Libras are twins. There's very different dynamics that are happening here, especially when it comes to the unique thing that you do. Okay. Um, if you look at the beauty of these cards too, very, very masculine. When we manifest, we are in very masculine energy. Also with Aries, this is very boss-like. This is very managerial. This is take charge motions to be something or someone. So these two, you might be feeling more in June that you are more masculine on the masculine side. I'm not saying you're going to go grow a beard and a mustache here, ladies, but I do think that you're going to borrow from those very male-like features that men bosses have or men in business have. You are going to be taking that kind of a role in your life, whether that be decision-making, being the mom at home, or just being the person who takes care and nurtures everybody. So you're going to be picking up that role regardless in June. We had death again in our reading. Scorpio here, you could be dealing with a Scorpio too in the upcoming future, or you have. Um, with death showing up after the emperor, I get this feeling that after you take control or you let go of certain chapters like you have, there's going to be somewhat of like a physical and mental change that happen at the same time. This is going to be almost a simultaneous event that happens. After I thought of that upon meditation, I got the galactic card once again. So you could definitely be going into your astronomy, astrology. You could be going into Reiki healing. You could also be looking up other ways to heal yourself. All right, big, big deal in June. You could be healing down three different avenues or four, or you could be expanding the way you meditate, or you could be picking up how to be a yogi or doing yoga. Um, you're going to see that this takes a physical change in you in June. People might be telling you that you look different in June, that you are physically changing, or you could be more fit. Um, I highly suggest you take this uh, hint or clue in this video and you definitely expand on that. You could even create a whole routine that surrounds your physical and mental change or well-being. Last card in that meditation was the Queen of Wands. You are still in this in June. This is a mainstay. Um, Queen of Wands is also someone, besides being productive, has a really, really positive look at relationships, and she also makes things go in her favor. I said makes things go in her favor because there is no no in the vocabulary of a queen of wands. She makes things happen. If you're a guy here, he makes things happen. And this is going to be thrusted into your universe at that time. Yes, I did say thrusted. Um, we're going to also travel down more of your oracle. Love life is gonna be a concentration in June. 
This could bring out a lot of beauty in your life. You could be re-inspired and you could also be falling in love again in June 2022. If you're a Libra here who's afraid to take the leap or you haven't taken the leap yet, I highly suggest you look at what your love life could be. If it hasn't been going well in your romance department or it just hasn't been looking great for you from the past, you could find that your love life takes a roller coaster in June. There's a lot of things that are going to change upon your money and also upon your overall abundance and how you take care of yourself. So your love life could be also inspired and fixing those in tandem. So you could meet someone, let's say, who is very, very healthy and very, very different from your last relationship, and they could be helping you in other areas of your life, which is really cool because that's partnership, okay? That's partnership 101. Trust and faith came out again. Your angels are with you this week. I said this in Monday's video. Your angels are paying very close attention to you at this time. They also, they send almost a guidance and nudge you from time to time. If you haven't been listening to your angels, they're there all the time. You just have to call them into presence, especially when you pray and you meditate. Just say, I need help and I need your guidance. They will be there. Okay, you don't have to physically, you know, see a Corvette or anything up here, but I'm just saying your angels are there to guide you in moments that you don't feel so sure. Okay, and I want to reassure that for someone here who doesn't feel like their prayers are being answered, because I'm going to tell you, it takes time to work on a perfect piece of art. All right, so that is a whole thing about you feeling this solar like plexus, this hit to your life in June. You're going to feel more abundant, more radiant. You're also going to be working at it. If you are this Libra too, who's afraid to take this leap, a lot of you guys are. I think that all the cards here, there is a death that happened within you, whether this is biologically, you felt it, whether this was painful. This is a chapter that needed to be closed. All right. Something about you and that Scorpio energy. I don't know if it hit us more during the eclipse. I don't know if we felt it more during retrograde, but I definitely think that you are taking death energy and you're making the best of it. Also, the old you could be something that you miss. You could do a cutting cord ceremony. Uh, you guys can Google it on here. You guys can buy candles. You can throw away old stuff that pertain to your old self. Um, what I do is I build a time capsule. We're gonna do that on here tomorrow where I throw away old, old parts of myself and I conduct a cutting of the cord ceremony. So that could be something that you're thinking of just so you physically say goodbye to the chapter. Um, just a suggestion here. We also have the Emperor. Let's clarify a few of these June preview energies. All right. And you also could be going, going to a place to a sanctuary, some place that you really, really love that makes you excited. Um, for me, I go to the lake. It's sort of like my personal sanctuary. There's a lot of cacti there. There's a lot of wild animals, and I do see synchronicities when I go to this lake. Um, if you guys go into the short section of this of my channel um, here on Libra Light, you will see that lake actually in one of the shorts. It's very beautiful at night. It's very romantic, and I think that's the reason why I go there, honestly. It's very Beauty and the Beast. Alrighty. Let's thank you, Spirit. Uh, wow. That's exactly, this is the pure explanation of what's going on here um, for the death card. Let's get two more. Libra for June. Libra June energies. Please, Spirit. Libra June. Bottom of the deck I right hear. Four of Cups. Ace of Wands. That is sort of what I'm feeling, okay? We have some clarifiers here, so I'm going to show them to you. We have these three. There's a mix of sort of past Libra, new Libra, okay? We have the Eight of Swords. This is taking the blinders off the eye. A lot of this is why you had a death, okay? And everything that's been learned up to this point is you taking off that blinder, okay? It will become clearer over time why you had to let go. I also think that you taking the blindfold off really, really set you in a new direction. Um, this could be why you're in the new direction to begin with. We also have the Ace of Wands, creativity, blossoming passion. We have here new starts, new businesses. Okay, very, very positive card. Also underneath another Wands card, which is the Queen of Wands. So a lot of Leo 
Aries, Sagittarius energy here with the fire. You could even again be borrowing from a fire sign and taking those traits on. In another video, I said Libras take Leo's energy from time to time. We are inspired by Leo's. We are also driven by Leo's. You could be even dating a Leo. Um, there's just something about that attitude when Libras take it on. It is like a spark of fireworks. Um, so definitely look into that and look into Leo Libra relationships. That's also something you could look up today. Four of Cups. This is residual energy from the past. We see here that she's not paying attention to that cup there to the side in the rainbows, but she's looking back on the past. This could be a state Libra that you find yourself going back to. You could be sort of feeling that the past didn't serve you well. Okay, but I see here that along with trust and faith and a lot of you being guided and listening, you'll be able to know that your gut was right all along. And that's the story here today. If I were to tell you guys in a few short words, you got to trust your gut in the future and it will not lead you astray, especially if you get those first few red flags. That's all I have today. 11, 11 on the clock. Red flags, as I said that, I hope you have a beautiful day. Stay, stay positive, And also never forget, you're a Libra. You got to make that light work. I love you all. Have a good day.